Hi guys, we're back in the office today. In the past 48 hours, I can't even believe it. I got 32 orders and it's absolutely insane. I haven't gotten this many orders in such a short period of time in a really long time. It's just really amazing. I'm kind of in shock. So I thought it would be really fun to package these together. Maybe not all of them because a lot of them are the same, but I think it would be super fun. Let's just get into this video and just talk together about what people ordered and just life. Let me show you. Oh my god. Look at all these unfulfilled orders. Well, it's not like a brag per se because I should fulfill them, but we're gonna fulfill them together, so it's okay. This is the first batch of orders. I like to do them in fours, as you guys know, and all of these are two item orders. So I don't know how to change the zoom right now, but I pre-cut some yarn. This order was by Dana from Arizona. Thank you so much, Dana. And she ordered the Bedazzled Star shirt and the $10 brown t-shirt. So the brown t-shirt is right there. She ordered a small. And let's go get the Bedazzled shirt. It's all the way up there. I should probably turn on the light. I think she got an S as well. Take it here, see it better, there you go. And I just put some business cards here. This is the bedazzled shirt. I'm gonna put it underneath this, there we go. I got my first subscriber yesterday and I'm super excited about that. So thank you to the person who subscribed to my channel. And I got seven views on our last video, okay. Very simple, you guys already know. And then I add my business card and sticker. Love packaging videos so much. I'm just gonna shipping label there we go next we got Maya from Illinois I'm from Illinois and she got our creepy with kindness crew neck and $10 tea okay let's go get the $10 tea it's down here I don't know if you can notice but from last video I refolded all of those t-shirts on that rack so that it's just easier to fold if it's one item okay, let's go get the crew neck i think we're gonna get it from our folded area so it's quicker here it is i love this shirt so much i was thinking about like changing up the design a little maybe but we'll have to see we'll have to see so sorry about this angle i don't know how to fix it today i went to a self-defense class it was really fun i learned about self-defense contraception setting boundaries um what else did i learn yoga i didn't really learn that but i we did that. I haven't been exercising lately. And tomorrow I have to play 18 holes of golf. Because I do golf for my high school. But all summer I have not played even 9 holes. I'll let you guys know how that goes. Okay, next we got Thao from Virginia. She got the same thing but in large. Large Tree People of Kindness crew neck and large brown t-shirt. This is where the brown t-shirt is. You guys already know. This is going to be gone. I already took a before picture and then I'm going to put up an after picture of what it looks like after i package all of these the large section i started my business a year ago i was 16 and now i'm 17 it's so cute let's talk about the timeline of when i started my business for the first month i maybe got like 10 orders social media is like your best friend i use tiktok and that's the main source of how i got um orders nothing was going on at all i posted a couple tiktoks here and there but like nothing major didn't take it serious mid july i was like you know what Let's just try to post like every day on TikTok or almost every day, every two days, every three days. Honestly, it's not really about like how often you post, it's more of like the content. I launched some stickers in late July and I made a video with my friend Sam because on the launch day, I was hanging out with her and we got our first order. So I was like, oh my God, let's make a video of us packaging it together. And it got like 20,000, 30,000 likes and I sold out of it. And I was like, wow, this is like crazy. So that definitely like motivated me to keep going. Sometimes when you're like in a drought, it can be difficult. Like, ugh, why am I even posting? Like if it's not really working, I get that. I 100% understand that. Okay, so the next six that we're working on are all brown t-shirt orders. So just so you guys know what I'm doing. After that, I started posting TikToks a lot more consistently. Just to mention from June to like, august even maybe a little bit in september i was making all of the shirts by hand and i finally decided that i really wanted to try to um do screen printing i researched it on my own that seemed like a really good option for me i personally use a local screen printer so i definitely think that if you can find a screen printer in your area that's super amazing but if you can't then there's lots of larger corporations that will gladly um screen print for you and then ship it to you it just depends on what you're looking for i'm gonna do screen printing like my design is popular but i don't think i can keep up with the demand of hand making them just like 
it's so time consuming and I mess up. Um, and then so I continued TikTok as well and I like steadily gained an amount of followers. Like I think I hit 10k um, in October. It's not just about the number at all. It's more of like so many people are interested in my journey. November, I was still like getting orders from like TikToks, but I wasn't like going crazy because I actually started working at Target end of October. And I still work at Target actually. I think that might have contributed to my kind of drought because I didn't really take the time to make more TikToks or like make good TikToks. Decided to make a new design and it was um, my fairy crew neck. Put it out and I made a TikTok. I went to bed. Because I usually, at that point, I was, like, making TikToks and posting them, like, at night. I woke up, and I was almost sold out of the fairy crew neck. And then I ended up selling out, like, within an hour of me waking up, which is crazy. Like, up to 100,000 likes. But at that point, it wasn't even close to that. It might have been at, like, 20,000 likes, which is, like, really substantial already. Sold out of... It, and then I restocked it and I sold out within one hour again and I buy my crew necks like and first time designs I usually buy 40 pieces because that's like just a normal a normal amount for me when something's really popular I'll get a hundred or when I know I want a design to be around for a long time I get a hundred that's why I have my ten dollar tee has a hundred because I'm like it's a ten dollar tee you know <laughs> like just get a hundred you know I got a hundred the second drop for the fairy crew next and sold out in an hour and I was like oh my god what the heck oh my gosh I did another restock and then that one went did pretty well too for 2021 honestly business has been like okay towards the end of may i was just excited to make tiktoks again after ap testing and those were doing really well as well yeah i've just been doing that ever since i've been like growing steadily it's so easy to quit stuff if you really love what you're doing it doesn't matter if i'm being genuinely honest because i remember in june and july when i first started like the first two months i wasn't getting any orders like it was all my friends which i'm really thankful for because having that support system is really important and it's honestly a privilege because i know starting a business can be really hard i was just happy to just be sitting in this office and just like cutting up some stickers making envelopes for like potential order let's talk about manifesting like i don't know i think it's real because whenever i post a tiktok i found this trend that i would post the tiktok and i would start packaging orders or like doing something in my office for my business and like they would do pretty well want to set good intentions for myself it's like be productive i know a lot of people who just want to be i don't know a lot of people i don't even what I know a couple of people whose intentions like when they don't when their tiktok doesn't do well they're like oh my god what the heck why isn't this viral like it's all random you know it's not because like you suck okay that came out kind of mean but like it's not because like you're doing anything wrong it's just it's just really just random. It is what it is, you know. I'm just trying to, like, mind my own business and just put my videos up. And if someone likes it, they like it. But if they don't, I don't really mind. Don't post, like, TikToks because you think they're going to do well. Post them because you like them. I remember, especially in October, I just remember I was so, so happy to, like, post a TikTok. I, I would make my parents watch my TikTok, like, like a lot of times. I just finished a bunch of the $10 tea orders. I have two orders that have three items in it each time someone gets a three item purchase um i have a bunch of these discontinued items that i add to their order lily from virginia ordered our cowboy tea our tree people with kindness tea and our tv tea okay so this is the tree people with kindness t-shirt oh let's do let's do a box for this order medium in this cowboy tea and a small in the tv tea okay i'll be back with the box I hope before I wasn't ranting too much. I'm going to give her this other Tree People with Kindness t-shirt. I'm going to put that as at the bottom so that she doesn't get scared that it's like the wrong order or something. I start school on Thursday. I'm not going to stop making business videos. I'm going to just do what I got to do to pursue my business. It's just something that I love doing and I wouldn't want to like take away from that. So I put everything in. Maddie from Colorado got our Bedazzled Star shirt, Bubble Pop tea, and $10 tea. $10 tea, we got that. And then Bubble Pop tea again. Let me go get the Bedazzled Star shirt. I think I'm going to do a box for this order too. Here, let's pick out something for them. I like this one. I give her one of our cowboy tees, or cowboy stickers. How many do we have left? I'm kind of tired because I took forever. 
uh, just talking. 10 to go. I don't think we're gonna make it, guys. Tomorrow morning I'll do it, but I won't film it. I guess this is all for the video today. Thank you to my first subscriber for subscribing. I'll have my social media and my website linked below. Um, that's about it. I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.